in our professional, social or even in personal life, we always need to balance between two very important behaviors, cooperation and aggression. But how much should we cooperate or how much should we be aggressive? No need to say that the proportion of these two will vary for person to person, depending on how much we need them, what we expect from them. Today, we are going to discuss about this contrast approach and applications. We will try to understand this with a plot between these two, the famous aggression cooperation graph. First, if both of the aggression and cooperation are very less, the behavior is called as ignorance. That means you are taking no notice of the person with whom you are dealing. It doesn't matter to you whether the person is behaving good or bad. You don't care whether he, she is in love with you or respect you or hate or decreasing you. You should be in this space only for random people or strangers you meet every day. For those with whom you don't need to deal much. Second, the cooperation is high compared to the aggression. This is more as known as accommodative phase. You are always trying to be with such people, try to understand them, love them, care for them, rather than fight or brawl or console them. Keep this zone for family members and close friends. Third, here you are much aggressive rather than being cooperative. This zone is interestingly known as win-lost zone. Here, you don't care about the person with whom you are dealing. Rather, you are being selfish and forcing the person about your opinion or viewpoint. You may need to apply this in your family, social or professional life, but for a few cases only. Only when you are in a crisis, a sudden situation happens which is threatening to you or creating a danger for you. Remember, this cannot be applied always because it will help you to win this immediate situation but you are going to lose if you repeatedly behave like that. That's why this zone is known as win-loss zone. Finally, the zone when you are much cooperative as well as you are aggressive too. This is known as win-win zone. A perfect dynamic behavior where you are ready to help the person and at the same time, you haven't forget your demands. You will always fight for your stipulations and also assist the person. This zone is suitable in your professional life, with your colleagues or with your boss subordinates. Why this zone is called win-win? Because here we are playing in such a way that you are winning by yourself and also letting other people win too. Hope this discussion will help you to be steady between these two, aggression and cooperation. From next time, first remember in what situation you are and act accordingly.